Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today it's going to be about some Guild Wars 2 news. Uh, I have two different things I want to talk about. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about something a little bit more uh, lighthearted and happy, objectively. And this is about the Guild Wars 2 sales. Just to, of course, plug my own resources, uh, Guild Wars 2 is currently 50% off which is uh, absolutely insane you can get the deluxe edition for 30 bucks which used to be 60 bucks so it's a steal in my opinion and with that said I have a bunch of links down below you can use those links to help support me through these trying times while also grabbing yourself a half off Guild Wars 2 uh, expansion with Path of Fire and Heart of Thorns included. Two expansions for the price of one at half price? Are you kidding me? That's great. Of course, tell your friends. Uh, and you can also try a, a free version through my link down below. Um, but additionally, with Guild Wars 2 being 50% off if you decide to buy the expansions, um, we have some great news for people who might have missed the first episodes of the Ice Brood Saga. From April 28th to May 4th, the prologue is free, and then after that, May 5th through May 11th, Whisper in the Dark uh, will be free to players if you log in, if you don't already have a Whisper in the Door, Whisper in the Dark. And then May 12th through May 18th, Shadow in the Ice is going to be uh, free to grab in the gem store, probably. Um, if you don't already own them. So be sure to log into Guild Wars 2 just for a couple minutes uh, to grab yourself those episodes if you don't already have them. All my links are down below. As a reminder, if you wish to purchase one, try one out for free. Uh, and even if you're trying one out for free and have a free account, logging in to grab those episodes is paramount. You will still be able to grab them and it'll be on your free account. Uh, in addition, of course, Patreon down below, anyway, to support. That was just a big plug, I'm sorry, I just felt the need to. Uh, so that is objectively good news for Guild Wars 2, uh, and then people had caught on with this time frame, uh, with, uh, they've, that they've given us, May 18th being the final day for Shadow in the Ice, people were wondering and speculating, oh, episode 3, is it gonna launch after May 18th? Uh, and it seems that it's it's a pretty decent uh, ballpark date for when episode 3 is going to launch. Uh, and then on top of news about episode 3, this is a good transition to my next news point, which I want to talk about. And this was actually released today. Uh, the news title was titled, uh, Voice Acting in Episode 3 of the Ice Brood Saga. They released a video with the various Guild Wars 2 voice actors, and they were basically talking about the episode 3, uh, which is now called, and we, which has been revealed to be titled, uh, Close Quarters, or Closed Quarters, one of the two. I've already, no, it's called No Quarter. I double-checked, it's called No Quarter. I should have prepared before then, but that's okay. Uh, so they released a video, and ultimately they just said that you know, they weren't able to get into the studio to record their lines due to COVID-19 and to abide by certain regulations and precautions. Uh, no one has been able to get into um, the studio to record with um, the sound design, the engineers, the writers, the producers, the directors. So they really couldn't. And with that sad news, ArenaNet has decided to go forward with episode three, despite not having any voice acted lines. Now, they have said that once COVID-19 has um, successfully been diminished to the point where it is safe to return, hopefully with vaccines or effective medication and effective social distancing where we don't see as many cases and it's a bit more rare, um, they will be able to go back into the studio and record their lines safely. Um, and I want to talk about this for a moment. There is a lot that can happen with this decision. Guild Wars 2 has always um, 
champion the fact that they have been uh, using voice acting consistently with their releases. Almost every major lore story release has had some caliber of new voice acting with uh, very prominent voice actors. All their talent is just absolutely fantastic, great to listen to, and really brings the game to life. This will be one of the very first instances in a long time where voice acting has not accompanied a major story and lore release. One could say, like with The Living World uh, Season 1, the player character didn't have a voice, but every other character did. Uh, with Episode 3, it seems like there will be no voice acting. Now, they could have a couple lines recorded. I'm not sure when production didn't get in or when production had to cease, um, but regardless, Voice acting is not going to be much of a thing in episode 3. Wow. And from a player's perspective, I've always said that the voice acting is a luxury. To me, it has never been a necessity. It is just a standard that ArenaNet has set for themselves and met consistently. And it probably creates uh, a much longer process in delivering a fine and finished product. So with this, they're releasing it, not forcing players to wait or um, making the studio wait to release it. Um, in the post, uh, they have said, um, as the world continues to fight the spread of COVID, they're working remotely. They haven't been able to get the voice actors in, um, so there's not going to be any voice acting within the third episode of the Ice Brood Saga with, uh, without voice acting. Uh, this was a d difficult decision to make, but we want to keep releasing content updates for the community to enjoy on a regular schedule. Quote, regular schedule. When it's safe, we'll create a high quality studio recording so we can update the episode with voiced lines. Uh, so the, the emphasis on regular schedule hits home to me. Uh, and is really great for them to, you know, just reiterate that they are setting a standard for themselves to release content on a monthly basis. Um, having a chunky Living World episode, episode three, come out uh, May, presumably because it's April 30th, so we're not going to get it tomorrow. Um, so in May, episode three, and then June, probably maybe a vision of the past or some other content update or a festival. Probably it's going to be a festival. Um, and then after that, perhaps another episode or vision of the past, depending on how, of course, COVID um, influences the production of the game, voice acting, if they are going to continue to postpone voice acting, uh, and they're just going to be charging ahead with their game uh, without the luxury of voice acting, one could say. Um, I feel like my thoughts are kind of all scattered at this point, but I just want to kind of get back on track with one topic, and that is how are the players going to react to no voice acting? Personally, I think it's going to be a very fascinating time for Guild Wars 2 in terms of its story release. It's going to force people to be very attentive and really put in the effort to read and pay attention to the story. You can't necessarily rely on voice acting to kind of remind you of what's happening. You know, during the interim of combat or even when, you know, you're fully in a narrative episode or a narrative scene for the episode, uh, you might lose touch with some of the story because of just everything that's happening. So you're really going to need to pay attention and read it, read the game like it's a book. Pick up on certain things, try to remind yourself of what's happening, and really have those aha moments and be like, oh yeah, you said that in the past. And I think that without having voice acting, this episode is going to be highly replayable in terms of going back and finding and remembering certain nuggets of information and lore that you did not notice on your first playthrough. And I, I think that's going to be really, really interesting. I know I'm going to play it multiple times this episode, especially with no voice acting, just to make sure that I got everything. Um, and I think it's good. I think the fact that they have decided that they're 
that voice acting is not a ne necessity per se um, to release, you know, of course, that ep an episode is really interesting in the in terms of possible play playable races? Question mark? Question mark? Because you know we have the whole entire base personal story, and to have someone go back voice all of those lines uh, would be quite taxing. I mean, like during the uh, building of Vanilla Guild Wars 2, they had years for voice uh, talent to come in and voice. Um, I don't think they have that same time if they were going to implement a new race. So this could possibly be an argument that playable races could be done in Tyria in Guild Wars 2. Um, and the voice acting aspect of it should not set them back. They could argue that we can implement races. However, in the personal story and possibly in Living World Season 2, uh, maybe even Heart of Thorns, that they will not be able to voice all of those lines and that you're just going to have to read the text. And honestly, I'm okay with that. We have five other races to fully explain, uh, extrapolate, and give life to this this game having one or two more races where you know they refrain from having a large portion of dialogue in my opinion wouldn't be too bad and i think this could be a nice example of course we've yet to see how episode three will turn out but uh this could be a nice example of the possibilities of guild wars 2 without voice acting um yeah i think that's all i really had to say i touched on the two major news uh portions uh make sure you guys grab a copy of Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, or Path of Fire. If you still don't have one of the expansions, it's a great time. You can get the standard two games for like 15 bucks. Once again, links down below. <laughs> I have the hiccups now. Oh god. Um, but yeah, so it touched on the sale. Remember, sale, sale, sale. Keyword sale. <laughs> and of course the uh, somewhat neutral, I would say. I don't want to say it's negative or sad news um, for episode three because this could be a very interesting experience for the player. It is, of course, sad that you know we won't get to hear the talent of the the voice actors, um, but of course they will provide their talents when when they can. Um, yeah, make sure you guys check out the the gem store. I guess is my final point because they have some awesome pieces of outfits like eve's outfit i actually bought it and i bought the dragon wings and i bought uh it came with the total makeover kit and a mystic weapon it was i was so satisfying and it's so cool i was very happy with the purchase and um all my links are down below once again and i will see you guys in the next video take care everyone comment down below your thoughts on what's happened and uh subscribe see ya